Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 house building video. Today we're making Tiny Town, also known as... What did... Oh no, what did I call it? Tiny... Tiny something. Tiny house? It's gonna be better. I didn't just call it Tiny House, did I? Oh no. Anyway, so the reason I wanted to do this is because I, I think I've mentioned this before, is I really love making small homes. And also, I, I'm, I, so yeah, so I wanted to make a small home. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to tell pointless stories in this video, so I've got to make sure I'm quick with this. Um, I wanted to make a tiny home because I, I really love uh, seeing what you can fit in and what you can get in these unique small spaces and how much you can actually have, like, you know, a functional space to do everything you need. I love doing that in The Sims. It's a lot of fun. And I also love the sort of modern style. So I'm borrowing the style uh, that I usually use with sort of... Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it ultra modern, but I'd call it sort of alternative modern. Like, you wouldn't really see a home like this in, in real life. But this is the kind of style, uh, in like, I don't know, let's call it Sims modern, uh, that I, I've built for a long time. Like, I used to do this in Sims 2, then I carried it over to Sims 3. And of course, I'm doing it in Sims 4 now as well. With the half walls, it makes it a lot easier to do that. As you can see, the one next door, which I can't even remember what that house was called next door. But that was one of my previous house builds that used the same sort of style that I'm using here. Anyway, I love that style. I love small homes. So I decided to put them together. This was originally going to be a starter home. But usually when I say that, I'm like, oh, I could do so much more if I just don't make it a starter home. So that's what I did. I, I, I made it not a starter home and did so much more with it. So this ends up being a two bedroom, one bathroom, tiny home, uh, tiny town home or whatever it's called. I was about to look it up. Um, yeah, so it's a small home for up to three Sims. Actually, it's, yeah, like I said, two bedrooms. It has a single and a double room. Uh, which is pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. Uh, I really, really, really want to build a studio uh, home. In the new this is what this was going to be uh, originally, but then I started making it a little bit bigger here and there, and I wanted to do more and more with it, so it ended up not being a studio home. I want to make like a little studio, kind of like a, you know, like a, a granny flat slash prefab kind of home. If Especially if I could do it actually as one room, then you could even just download, I could post it as a room and then you could actually just put it on your lot and add it as a granny flat, which would be pretty cool. So I think I will do that in the near future. Uh, I usually, yeah, the problem is I just get too carried away with it most of the time. Uh, just signing into my Origin account so I can check what the home was called because I don't recall, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah. So, I'm uh, just trying to figure out what kind of like, what layout is going to work best in this space. So, here is where I start. Usually, uh, if I'm doing a home like this where it's quite small or it has an interesting uh, floor plan, I will just get some objects out and put them around the room to see what sort of fits where. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. Just trying to see how the layout is going to work if I start putting objects in. So I'm just filling up the home with like sort of base level objects. And it was going to be a starter home, so that would be... Well, under 15, I think, no, I think it's 15, I don't, I, I really need to look this up. I think I say this every time I go to do a starter home. I think it's 15,000 for one sim, but I think you get a little bit more if you have more than that. Oh, tiny living. And I'm sure you knew that because that's the title of the video. Tiny living is better than tiny home. I like that. Good stuff. Good stuff, me. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're just going through and doing, I'm trying to, yeah, see, here's where I'm just trying I'm trying to figure out the uh, the reason I was trying to figure out the layout of the bathroom so long uh, is just because the shower because the, the the shower head is always on the left so it always I always want that to be against the wall because you would never have like a shower head just coming out the side of a shower if it wasn't against a wall you can do it in Sims but it doesn't really make sense so uh, I I had to figure out the layout that worked best and now here I am just trying to figure out the back of the house a little bit here I decided to put in that larger window and hey just put a wall outside to make it look. Good. I also don't know why I finished that sentence. And look. Uh, anyway, going through doing some basic wall. I'm, at this point, I'm still I'm still keen on making it like a starter home, right? So at this point, I'm trying to save as much money as I can. I've already gone over 15000 but I'm trying to, like, build it in a way that it would still be under, like, 20000 ish because that's still really cheap. And I, th there's got to be some Sims that... You know what? Let's boot up Sims. Let's go find out. Let's find out. I only have... How much time do I have left? Not a lot of time. But Sims doesn't take that long to boot. Let's boot up. Uh, I want to know how much you have when you start off. And I, I don't actually know what it is. I don't know what the amount is. Uh, Sims, if you could not take like a lifetime to load. Like this is the one time I need you to load quickly. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Uh, we're like five minutes in out of a 15 minute video or so. Yeah, we got 
14 and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, we got time here. Just another one of my textbook uh, unorthodox in video distractions where I go do something else. Uh, yeah, so I was going to, again, here I'm still trying to save money. So I decided to go with wall lights instead because not only are they cheaper, uh, but they also don't get in your way because it is such a small house. Having ceiling lights in the play, in, like in your way can sometimes be annoying. Uh, it's, it's not so bad in bigger homes. Uh, but if you've got a really sort of small space, having having wall lights, I, I feel, works a lot better than uh, than having, you know, ceiling lights that get in your face. Actually, here's something that I, I really enjoyed doing. So I was like, I wanted to get the small TV in, but, you know, there was that giant coffee table. I was like, this takes up too much space. I need to get some more functional objects in here. So I decided, let's put in a bookcase there. Let's get the TV next to it. Let's make like a, a sort of faux TV cabinet. And that's what I did. So I used the cheapest TV, scaled it up, and I found out it actually fits really, really well in that place. So I put it on top of that like sort of end table, put the scaled up TV on there, uh, a kitchen cabinet above it, bookcase on the left, and boom, you have a beautiful little, you know, handcrafted TV cabinet, uh, which I'm actually really happy with. Right, so I'm in, I'm in me game. Uh, create a new household and move in. Let's see how much money we get. I'm gonna just do, let's go, oh, let me just randomize the sim. There we go, let's get, a, let's get like, let's get three sims. I wanna know how much, how much money three sims have. Oh my God, the randomize button lagged like, Nothing else. I'm also uploading a video right now, so it's kind of just when it tries to get something from the gallery, it like lags because my internet cannot handle it. Uh, add new sim, uh, add new sim, randomize from the gallery, give that like 30 seconds. Yeah, so here I, I there's no sink in the kitchen. Uh, you have to use the bathroom sink, but that you know, that's just kind of one of the compromises you have to have with such a tiny home. So you have the one cabinet, uh, or well, the one counter there to chop up and prepare food. You have obviously the fridge and the stove, so you can make everything you need. Then you wash up in the bathroom, which is not ideal, but it definitely, it works. It, it's definitely something that's functional and it works at least. The little bin there is like, smooshed into the the nook there so you can uh, actually put stuff in the bin and that's not in the way right so we get eighteen thousand five hundred dollars with three sims that's actually good to know i should probably i probably could have just googled this to be perfectly honest um let's see actually <laughs> the sims for how much money do you start with my loud keyboard there starter money in the sims 4 here we go from august 2014 <laughs> it's been known since the game came out. What a shocker. Anyway, exit the game. Um, yeah, so anyway, obviously at this point I've decided, okay, let's let's throw out the window that $20,000 budget. Although, like, all of this right now is already done with $20,000. We actually have everything you need to live. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, now, there's a thread on the forum. Does someone... I don't want... Okay, that's a useless thread. They're just like, ooh, how much do you get? And then nobody actually answered it. Uh... Let's see, let's go to the Sims Wiki. <laughs> this is good fun. Funny, okay, so that's The Sims 3. How about The Sims 4? That's also The Sims 2. Are you serious? Where's my starter money? In The Sims, The Sims 2, and The Sims Stories, family start with 20,000. In The Sims 3, and The Sims 3 for console. Well, yeah, what about The Sims 4? That's not true. In The Sims 4, a household... This is what they say. In The Sims 4, a household starts with 20,000 plus 2,000 for each sim beyond the... Well, that's not true because I had three sims that had 18,000. Okay, that's wrong. I don't think anybody knows. <laughs> or at least nobody's noted it down correctly. Uh, starting funds. No, that's from 2011. That's not even for The Sims 4. Uh, hmm. I don't want money cheats. How much money do you start with in The Sims 4? Why is this so hard to Google? Um, the Sim, hang on, The Sims 4 starter money. I'm sure you guys in the comments have already told me, but I'm still, I'm determined to find this out. Uh, okay, The Sims start starting funds, let's go here. That's again from 2011, so that, no, nope, that's not gonna be useful. Uh, search tools, how about this? Anytime, custom range uh, from set, September, okay, no, I'll just do this. I'm going to go back to September 2014, because that's when the game came out. Let's go September 1st till now. Where are we now? <laughs> what would November 30th go? All right. How to be able to start a home? Nope. How to get infin infinite money? Nope. Anyone else noticed about them? No? Okay. 
This is actually really hard to find. Please raise the money limit. No. How do you get enough money? No. Nobody has just made an easy page that tells me how much money I start with. Sims 4. How much money do you start with? Where? Yeah. <laughs> Write out a whole sentence, that'll help. Ways to make money. No. Most helpful cheats. No. How to get infinite money. Wow, nobody's... This is interesting. This is interesting how hard this is. I don't think there is... Like, obviously someone somewhere has posted it, but I can't seem to find it. Anyway, what's happening in the home? So, yeah, I put those wall decorations there, as you saw. <laughs> If, if you're watching that the uh, the scaled up TV, I, I, I realized it halfway through when I was building, actually poked through that bedroom wall. So I'm like, mm, I need to put something like a thick picture or like painting on that wall to like hide it. I originally put that giant map, but I realized it looked awful. Uh, and then just using some of those wall decorations looked a lot better. So I chucked those on the wall instead. I just did that little uh, sort of uh, set of drawers there with the you know coats and that hanging above it. So it gives it a little bit of depth. I have to keep putting that TV back because. That's something really annoying about move objects is when something's sort of clipping into a wall, if you change the wall paint for some reason, whenever you change the wall paint, that the items that are like clipped into the wall just disappear and get sold. I'm like, okay, didn't want to do that. Now I did use, I used like one item from Spa Day. I can't remember what it was. It was somewhere in this house. But then I was like, well, if I'm using one item, I might as well use some more stuff from Spa Day. So... Uh, so I've just gone around and added a bunch more stuff from Spa Day. So this house does require base game and the Spa Day game pack. Which, by the way, if you don't have Spa Day, uh, it's, it's got some very nice items in it. And the actual spas themselves are pretty cool. So if you're on the fence about buying it, then go go for it, I guess. I mean, feel free to do so. My I think my personal favorite pack probably... In, ter in terms of items, I I've gone through this before and I, I used, I, I said a lot at the time, perfect patio stuff when that came out, I was raving about that. That is some perfect patio stuff though. Ooh, I don't know. Anyway, let's not go down that road again. But yeah, no, starter money in Sims 4, it is a mystery. Um, obviously if I just go in game and just figure it out myself, then that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, three Sims had 18,500, so that, that is, that's good to know. Maybe that's what you always have. I swear you have less. I swear 15,000 was one sim. How much time do I have? Do I have time to boot the game again? Sure, why not the Sims 4? There we go, booting. Uh, it is, I mean, the Sims 4 on my computer is on an SSD, so it doesn't actually take that long to load. It's more so just getting the sim. All right, so the game is opened, loading. We're about to go into screenshots here. So I'm doing a little bit of landscaping, making it look nice. I decided to make this house under $30,000. So it's still actually pretty cheap and it's quite detailed for what it is. So it's not it's not like a, um, a dodgy home. Like it has really nice items in it and everything's quite good. Uh, so it's under $30,000. At the moment, it's just over it, but I actually make it $29,000 something in the end. So it is pretty damn affordable. So look forward to that, guys. So yeah, if you did if you did want to play the game and not use money cheats or whatever, this is actually a, a nice little affordable sort of luxury home to move into. Uh, but there you go, going into the screenshots now. I've got very limited time to jump into creator sim. Let's go one sim, randomize from the gallery. Let's see what you get. Because we might be able to infer something here. Uh, so you're jumping around the house so you can see all the exterior shots like we normally do. Let's play with this sim. There we go. There's the front of the home. Uh, of course, I have a mailbox and a bin. Didn't forget it this time, guys. That's usually my uh, normal shtick. So she had $14,500, it said. Uh, or was that minus the price of the lot? She has $14,500 left. I'm not sure how much the lot cost. Maybe $1,500? Maybe she had... Six, I think maybe she started with 16,000 and then the lot was 1,500. Yeah, that makes sense. I think she was 16,000. Then we had three Sims. How did we get eight? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Download link below and have an awesome day.